Now, a day filled with shellfish would not be complete without the lobster. Look at the size of this guy. This is like a two and a half pounder. I just had my fishmonger parboil it. It's not fully cooked, but it's cooked enough to handle. Now, I'm going to flavor this with a basil mayo and a little bit of basil oil to season it. And if you want to know the trick for any herb oil in the world, hot, hot water and an ice bath. And a little bit of salt helps keep all the green inside. So once it's kind of wilted like spinach, strain it off into cold water. The rest of this basil oil is pretty simple. I like using canola oil. It kind of likes to take on flavor. It doesn't add any flavor to it. Just a good pinch of salt and give her a buzz. Strain it through some cheesecloth. If you don't have cheesecloth, a coffee filter, but anything that's gonna hold the basil and just let the oil cascade down. So as the basil oil strains off, it gives me some time to crack on with the lobster. I like to just crack the claws and expose a little bit of the meat, just like that. Just get it cracked. That's gonna help break apart when you're eating it. Perfect. Now, you need to cut it in half. I like just giving it a little bit of a rinse. Time for lobster number two. Look at the color of this basil oil. So much flavor, so much color, so good with lobster. Just a little brush of basil oil and then just a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. It's from the ocean, it doesn't need that much. Just a little kiss. Let's go grill. Nice high heat for this one, friends. Normally, I'd oil the grill, but I'm not. There's a lot of basil oil on the lobster, I and mean, you don't want to smoke it out or burn it. You just want some char. Char marks, that's perfect. They really only need to warm up. So once you have char marks and you turn it over, take it off. When it comes to lobsters, you gotta go all the way. I'm gonna show you a really cool basil mayo. Now when I strain the basil oil, there's tons of basil pulp. Don't waste it, use it. So the mayo's really nice and fatty, and there's a lot of herb in there, and you kind of want to like take some of the fat out. Lemon is the best way. I'm gonna use zest and juice. And a little bit of garlic. Basil mayo. Yes, lobster mayo. It's for your mouth. Respect the cue. Yeah. A basil mayo is madness. And if you've never had grilled lobster before, do yourself a favor, get some lobsters and grill them. They're fantastic. Don't be selfish with your shellfish. Invite your friends over. Have a big barbecue. Share your shellfish. It's fun, fast, super delicious, and I promise those are the memories that will last forever.